All right, shipping question. This, I found it best to create shipping profiles in Etsy. So let me show you how to do that. First on Printify, when you're selecting a distributor, you wanna go into the details of that item and see what the processing time for that distributor is and how much they charge for shipping for both the United States, Canada, and the rest of the country. Get that information in order to set up your shipping profile. So go look for that first. Then go to Etsy, click settings, shipping settings. Here you can see I have a standard shipping profile set up. This is what I use for pretty much all of my listings. To do that, you create a profile and you fill out all of this information. You wanna make sure that you're selecting a fixed price manually or this is gonna mess with Printify. You don't want Etsy just like adjusting your shipping accordingly. Fill out all this information, country of origin, zip code of your distributor, enter the processing time that they gave you from the information I told you to gather at first. And here you wanna actually decide what you're charging your customer for shipping. If you're working shipping into the cost of the price of the item, then you wanna do free shipping here. What I do is I basically like split shipping. For like a t-shirt, I'll charge them like $2. Um, unless they spend $35 or more in my shop, then it's free shipping. Printify for a t-shirt is gonna charge me $4 for shipping. I'm charging my buyer $2. You enter all that information in there and at the bottom you name the profile. So for example, standard t-shirt shipping, two to seven days processing time. So once you save that, that shipping profile is gonna be available for you to use on Printify as you're creating new items. For example, here's my t-shirt. I entered all of my information. Um, and then all the way at the bottom, there's gonna be a shipping profile. The standard is always gonna be selecting, like it's gonna come with create new shipping profile selected. I wouldn't recommend doing that because it's gonna create, for every item you create, it's gonna create a new profile over on your Etsy and it's gonna get really cluttered and messy and it's just not necessary. So unclick this. In the drop down, you should see your custom profile that you created over on Etsy and that's what you're gonna select. So then you're gonna publish that and that is gonna go directly over to your Etsy shop when you publish the item. I hope that was helpful.